All right, so I put a bunch of pieces together, uh, stuck the uh, muffler on top of it, just kind of, uh, it's floating in the air there. Carbs are attached with that manifold on there and just some um, right stuff sealant uh, for flanges, again, because this just could be coming apart a thousand times, who knows. Uh, the jets, I don't know how and where they're set, the choke is wherever we're going to go set it, and I got a piece of tape on the throttle, because the throttle can flop around anywhere so I figured I'd just put a piece of tape on it and uh, I could, if I get it run I could probably rip that off and kind of move it to where I want and play with the jets and everything so there is fuel in this fuel line it's filled up to there and so there's some in the float and I gave a little shot down the uh, the jug of the uh, piston just to see if we can kind of get anything to happen um, I, I may yank this thing a thousand times I may do it once or twice and we're gonna go find out I know I have spark and uh, you know, it depends on how rough it's going to be to try to dial that thing in. So, let's give her a little shot. I'm going to turn you off and back on for a second so I can get prepped. Alright, copy in the stand. And, uh, probably should clamp the base down, but let's see what happens. There, I get the feeling this is going to take a while. <laughs> I wish there was something I could hook a drill up to, but there's not um, a very good um, burp to bumble out of it. There's no uh, nut sticking off of this thing, and it's left-handed thread, so if you do go to hit it with the drill anyway, it's going to run the uh, other. It's going to spin the nut off. Sounds like it wants to go though. Let's give it some uh, some air. Still looking? Yeah, you're good. Kind of wants to. It's burping little bubbles up too. I don't know if there's uh, an issue there. Keep whipping myself in the hand. It's chooching a little smoke. That's not sticking. All right, I'm gonna shut you off, turn you back on. All right, so I went for a glove. I'm not whacking myself in the, uh, in the hand, it won't hurt as much. all over the table I couldn't get my hands on it all right let's clamp this thing down so it doesn't go walking like it is um, and I got to get my little screwdrivers kind of set up so I can adjust the two mixes and see if I can get any kind of better setup on it get used up at least everything in the gas line it used up all right let's get a little bit better prepared and we'll try this again all right round two now I got a little screwdriver in my hand I got it clamped down I was trying to hold the camera. <laughs> I was trying to push the, um, uh, the shutdown for the uh, spark. 
and uh, it was working and not working, so it was kind of shutting off and not shutting off. And what we got for throttle? I'm kind of guesstimating that. I'm trying to find where the word idle, and I want to try to set the idle up before I do the main, and you know, we'll see what happens. I'm, mo I'm mostly concerned about idle, I, I would guess, and try to get it to idle. I'm trying to figure out where the other one is. I got the main. I thought this was an adjustment up top here too, but it might not be. I forget now. I'm not sure what that is. Nope. Take a little bit more gas in it. Try it again. I okay, kind of watch that the carb doesn't run empty, because then the mix will just go out of the out of the uh, out of adjustment. You know, the, once the carb starts running empty, then it starts running lean, and you're not dialed in to what you should be dialed into. Stripping gas out of the intake. Sweet spot. Get that to idle. It seems like it worked pretty good. I don't know if the float's leaking or what. We're pissing some fuel out. It might even be this connection right here. I have a um all I did was take a um uh tie wrap around it. That's threads down there, so it might be pissing through those threads, I'm not sure. I guess the penny works pretty good. That's the main adjustment up in there. Yeah, I thought there was two. I'm not sure. I bet you that's just supposed to be screwed right on down. Probably got a vent. Alright, well, I'm gonna go fiddle with it a little bit more, kind of see what I get out of it. And uh, maybe we'll take the um, other carburetors I got. I'll start cleaning one of them up and we'll put one of those on. We'll see how those operate, see if they have a little bit more um, uh, fine tuning adjustment than this one does. And then this one, you know, that's the, that's somewhere in there is idle. So I have to make some kind of uh, adjusting screw for that to kind of stop against whether I can drill through that, put a tiny screw or put something on that to make it, you know. We'll see, we'll try something. I'd like to be able to run a screw through there if I can. But 
get the intakes leaking out too. That doesn't help everyone. If the uh, intake, um, the crank's not sealing on the bottom. I didn't put any sealer on there. I just screwed it back together again. All right, let me get it dialed in a little bit. See what we do. All right, what I want to try now. I really care about idling and you know, yeah, you know, seeing how it revs and all that. I want to get an idea of just letting it run. I want to see how hot it gets. So I got the the temp gauge here. And I want to see if we can be able to, if it's going to be able to run without the fan, or it's going to need that the enclosure and the fan put back on it. So uh, I'm just going to fire it up, and I'm going to keep feeding it with the bottle. Fuel's right here right now, and uh, try to just kind of keep it running. I don't care what RPM it runs at, as long as it's over revving. And uh, we'll get an idea what the temp's going to be, if it's going to run away or not. I'm gonna say yes, it's gonna need the fan. I know it's burning a lot of crap off, but it got up to 320 fairly quickly and it wasn't like it was starting to level out. So I would say that uh, that is gonna be the case. That um, this fan and this enclosure is gonna probably have to go together. Uh, the fan kind of robs it from horsepower somewhat, but um, you know, if, if it's the necessity, it's the necessity. So we're gonna run that around it and uh, the other plus you probably I probably will get out of it is that will uh, act as a flywheel too so um, you know it's gonna be what it is the um, so that'll be the width of the motor too so including the fan we are at yeah, the housing. I'm going to say that's 11. And I'm still not sure what side I'll end up running a pulley off of. I bet you I'm probably going to end up going with that right there. We'll probably make uh, that into some kind of belt sheave and uh, we'll figure out how to start it. Um, maybe somewhere else, you know, somewhere along the line or make it so you pedal and start it. Like, we'll, we'll figure that out later. Well, that's not too bad. 11, 11 and a half. I don't think I have a choice, right? So, uh, I think the next step is going to be to take the, uh, 
the Huck carbs and we're going to try cleaning one of them up and uh, put one of those together and we'll stab that on there. We'll see how it runs with that and see if we can kind of get a little bit better control. Uh, I might see if I can get the fan assembly back on it too because it's considering we got to run with that anyway. I might as well um, put that on there. The other thing I'm looking at now is how I'm going to support the whole thing. I was thinking of just going with that flange there, uh, but it comes with these four bolts. Now I have it sitting in upside down. That normally sat that way and that's the way it ran uh, with the cylinder head down. But there's nothing saying I can't flip that assembly around and hang it from the top of the bike and still have that round pocket come down there. Or for that matter, I could still see I could still come off of um, I can cut that right off of there and I could still come off of uh, sandwich a plate in here. And I got two bolt holes there if I wanted to make that the um, bottom. So one, two, three, four. I could even tap off of these if I have to. But that's when we start stuffing it in a frame. Right now we're still just trying to get it to operate correctly. Sounds good. Nice and quiet with that muffler on there. Other than all the crap rattling around on the benches. Alright guys, well, I'm going to shut this one down for here. Again, thanks for watching, comment, subscribing. Take care.